Is coding still worth it in 2024 with the amount of competition that you have because of the recent layoffs? Like literally right now, people with five or 10 years of experience have to settle for junior or entry level job with AI replacing developers with layoffs that are happening and will continue to happen probably, I have no clue. And with the insane amount of effort that you have to put in to stay relevant by learning new tech skills. Is coding still relevant or it's a waste of time for you in 2024? Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you out to make the right decision so you don't waste your time so you can get hired as fast as possible. So let's get into it. Yo, what's up, this is Christian. Is coding still worth it in 2024? This is a loaded question and I'm gonna try to answer it so you can make the right decision moving forward because I don't want you to waste your time learning to code and I don't want you to ditch this opportunity if this is right for you, okay? So I'm gonna help you out massively to plan the next few months for yourself so you can extract as much as you can from it so you can make the most amount of money and get that lifestyle that you want, the lifestyle that I got a few years ago. When it comes to asking this question, is something worth it? It's not so easy as saying yes or no. It's not a binary thing that we are after, okay? We need to understand what is the meaning of worth it because essentially there are two types of people that come into tech. Let's assume they both have the same job, right? They, they are both baristas, like I used to be, okay? One of these two guys heard that coding is a thing that you can learn in two, three months and you can make a lot of money doing so and it's quite easy and whatever. And then on the other hand, you have another guy who hears about coding and hears about the possibilities of this skill set because coding is not really a job, obviously. It's a skill set that you can use to get a job, to freelance, to build your own applications, to change the world, as screen as it sounds. But you do have that ability. Now, these two guys will have a totally different experience going into uh, learning code and going after that job one of them is gonna struggle massively because the first one will say oh i'm a hard worker but when push comes to shove he'll start to realize that he's not the hard worker that he was thinking that he was he's gonna start to realize that he doesn't know how to learn he doesn't know how to focus he doesn't know how to stay on path when things go south as they are right now and he's gonna try to find a new get rich quick scheme and then he's gonna realize that that new get rich quick scheme is not gonna work either but on the other hand, this other guy, which is interested in learning to code for the sake of learning to code, doesn't mean that he has to be passionate and a geek and a nerd about it. Like the only thing that he thinks about is coding and creating compilers, but he, he thinks about like what he can do with it. The one that is obsessed with that, he's looking for problems on Reddit. He's looking for problems on LinkedIn. He's looking for problems on Twitter, people complaining about stuff. And then at one point, He's gonna have an idea about how to solve a specific problem for a specific group of people and then he's gonna you know create an application for that and he's gonna be super excited to finish that application not because he's interested in learning to code but he's interested in learning how to build applications and how to solve people's problems this guy is gonna be successful going forward so your main job right now is to identify are you the first guy or the second guy i'm gonna give you another example of what this worth it means for different people so i always recommend people to go on this website called lexington teams to get a template to use it for their uh, portfolio the reason why i do that is because i really like the way those teams look like and i believe they will help you massively to stand out if you implement one of those things in your applications and you put it on your resume because the way you package your application is extremely important i have spent a hundred bucks on one of these things i'm not affiliated with the guy i don't make any money he doesn't even know that i'm promoting it it's just a good product and i want to promote it okay i spent a hundred bucks on one of these things and my website went from looking like bullshit because i used a website builder before went from looking like bullshit to looking pretty decent in my opinion in a matter of, I don't know, four days, something like that, because I just had to take that template, customize it a little bit, insert the text that I wanted, 
uh, copy the text from the previous website to this new website, change a few things here and there, and now my website looks amazing, in my opinion, okay? And I only spent 100 bucks and four days. Now, if I would have had to skip the buy the template part, I would have had to either learn how to design, which would have taken days, right, if not months, I would have had to build everything from scratch, every single component from scratch, which would have taken a lot of time as well. So for me, making something from scratch is not worth it. But for you, let's say you are in that position where you only have a thousand bucks in your in your pocket, 100 bucks is 10% of your wealth. Is it worth it, really? I don't know, it's a very hard to answer question. In retrospective, I would say yes, because you can potentially, with a good team, you can get a, a lot of interviews and you could actually get a job and it's gonna help you have tens of thousands of dollars in your pocket in the future but it's up to you how you perceive these things okay when you ask about if something is worth it it's about making an investment okay and learning to code for you it's an investment because you're investing time money and energy to learn a skill which you hope that is gonna pay or pay off later in the future and you are unsure if it's gonna be worth learning because you don't know if it's gonna pay off in the future because of all the AI advancements, you see the layoffs, uh, people try to scare you about these things. Learning to code is an investment, right? And then you have to figure out, okay, I'm gonna bet my time, my money, my energy on this, or am I gonna do something else? You know, let, let's be honest, like major, the majority of people, 95% of people, so you're not coming from a mid-level income, okay? You're not coming from making 150K and you're like, oh, I wanna learn how to code. No, you're probably coming from making 40k, 60k, 80k, and you are capped. You cannot make any more from that, no matter what you're trying to do with your skill set. You are literally capped. So then you are asking yourself, okay, what options do I have? And then when you start to look around, like what options do you have to break away from whatever you are making right now, you see that you don't have that many. You can either go to law school, which is gonna take four years, and going to law school is not gonna guarantee that you'll become a lawyer that's gonna be well paid. You still have to be street smart, you need to know your shit, like you really need to learn, like you need to memorize stuff, you need to be witty, you need to know how to like convince people and persuade people and stuff like that, you need to find like loopholes and whatever. That's not an easy job, like that's that's what my mom does, that's what I was about to do as well. That's I studied two years to do that. Again, you need to study four years, and after that I think you need to practice for two years, so it's gonna take six years until you can make some decent money, and then you need to build the clientele, you need to work like really long hours, like 10, 12 hours a day, you know, like it's, it's a crazy type of industry. This is what we are comparing coding with. Maybe yeah, coding used to be easier back in the day, it's gonna be easier again soon. In like a couple of years but this is how you have to think about it you need to compare coding with another career another type of career that you can get into is sales you can make a lot of money in sales but to make a lot of money in sales it's not like you're writing a couple of lines of code the rest of the day you are chilling it's not like that you have to have like i don't know hundreds of conversation with people a day and you need to be rejected every single day and you need to know how to speak with people and you need to know how to influence people and you need to reach quotas and one month you might make 10k another month you might make 2k are you able to support and stomach that uh, volatility while well, you're a coder and not, that's why you're not a sales guy i will not be able to stand that i would absolutely hate it if i'm being honest with you another type of career that you can get into is becoming a doctor like as a doctor you make a shit ton of money but it's gonna take you 10 years and you have to go to university there are other careers that you can get into so coding is not the only option that you have but in my opinion the way i've done the maths it's the best one you can build shit you can learn it without going to university you need to find your edge in any industry you want to get into there is no such thing as get rich quick skin and you need to assess weigh these things up for yourself and stop listening to me and other influencers that are telling you if it's worth it or not it's not the skill that is worth it is you making it worth it if you like this video please like it leave a comment and tell me if coding is still worth it and if you're not subscribed subscribe so you can get more videos like this peace out